Now in this video I'm going to be giving a comparison between the various grammar checking software that are available today. Uh, so that would be Ginger, Grammarly and also the um, Microsoft Editor that is included in Microsoft Word and also Microsoft Word Online. So here we have here a little sample piece of text um, and as you can see Microsoft Word hasn't popped up with a lot of mistakes apart from this aspect here so Microsoft Editor has found a mistake there if I click on that it will give me suggestions in regards to what to do so as you can see it's suggesting a comma so I'll just put in that comma there and according to editor as I said it believes that that text is perfect. Now if I just go back up again to editor here and I click so it's inside the home tab and I clicked editor you'll get some statistics about that piece of text so it's stating that it has a hundred percent score there's essentially no spelling or grammar mistakes but that isn't correct there are grammatical mistakes there in this document so when would I use the editor well I suppose in the first instance as a tool that is free if you have office 365 that would be the first editing software that I would use now, I want to move on to the proprietary software as well so the first the next software grammar checking software that I want to test is the ginger software so again in the home tab provided you have it installed on your computer as a plugin with Microsoft Word if I click that the sidebar will pop up and there you are ginger writer so then I will go over to where I would like to have the text grammar checked I'm going to start here in the cursor I go back over into ginger and then I choose I can choose the options so I'm going to choose UK only English and then I press check full document and how this works is it goes through the document sentence by sentence so as you can see in the first line here it's picked up something that it doesn't like and if we go over here to the right hand side you can see the first place now in my document I have place as in fish and it's suggesting to put in the alternative it gives a description as well here as to what the the, the words are and if you're happy with that you simply press accept as I do and it changes the document as you progress so the first line now has been changed and interestingly when that change has been put in place Microsoft editor now has popped up with a suggestion and again it's putting in a comma so I'll do that now let's go back over again and continue on with ginger so it's say, stating that the next line it had a pond of now originally it's off and again these are classic mistakes that somebody who may have a difficulty with reading dyslexia and so forth may uh, may do may undertake so I'm going to press accept on that and then so on and so forth so let me just progress through so there we go the next one sum sum and it's suggesting som so I press save on that I'm going to progress through that document so it's saying on the other we looked over a gate at our master's house which so again the which aspect is the problem now there are other problems with that sentence but we'll just correct that one as we go and so on and so forth so if you want to accept all of those then you go down and you simply press accept all and it will make automatic changes to all of the document um, now 
if I go back over that again now and run through the um, grammar checking, Grammarly software. So up on the top here again inside the home tab, if I press open Grammarly. And if I close Ginger, now notice you can have the two, you can have multiple grammar checking ta side suggestion bars open at the same time. I'm going to close Ginger and I'm going to use Grammarly. And now let me just give you an overview of Grammarly. So here the look and feel of how gla Grammarly corrects um, grammatical mistakes in a text. It highlights words in red that are clear mistakes according to the software and then in green it makes suggestions in other words it, sta it states that perhaps the sentence isn't uh, grammatically incorrect but there may be a nicer way to to compose that text and again with the blue it's in between the red and the green there may be an alternative way to change the the text so it's it's it goes down word for word. It's a bit different. It probably takes a bit more time to correct a large document. Um, and then on the right hand side here, it gives you the options as you go. So if I click on place there, again, if I click here, there it's giving the suggestion, quite similar to Ginger. It's giving the suggestion as to what it would like to change it to. If I look at the document, there it is there highlighted. I go back and I press that. And then it progresses on to the next. So let me have a look here. So again, it gives a bit of an outline of a suggestion. You can delete that if you wish, if you wish, or you can turn off suggestions, which is the green highlighting. I'm going to dismiss that. And again, it's quite thorough. It's picking up all of the all of the mistakes that. Um, Ginger has found, but it's doing it more or less word per word. So I'm happy with that, and so on and so forth. So in comparison to Grammarly and Ginger, I have found Grammarly to be more granular. In other words, you have to go into each word, shall we say, and if it's a large document, it may take a bit more time. In contrast to Ginger, that takes sentence by sentence, and it's that little bit more quicker. Um, I'm not saying it's better. I'm not saying it's worse, but if you want to swiftly go through the checking of a document, um, first preference for me, if it's a large document, is Ginger. And if you want to go into more granularity in terms of proofreading, you can choose the Grammarly. Now, Grammarly also has a lot of other features which are added on. So you have the you have the clarity, correctness, and you also have the plagiarism aspect. Now I haven't tried this before so I'm going to just try it now. If I click the plagiarism button it scans through the text and um, it doesn't seem to pop up with anything but I'm assuming that if there was an issue it would outline that in the side frame. There we go. So if I click here it takes a bit of time. Right so it's found something there. Chapter 1 my early horse. So it did find the extract of where this text was taken from and that is uh, Black Beauty, the novel Black Beauty. So again that's another added feature with Grammarly. I switch it off again and I go back over here to switch off. So again looking back if I go back up to the home tab and if I just give you a summary again, in terms of the various editing softwares, I have three plugins. I have Microsoft Editor, which is built into Office 365. Very good for, you know, your basic grammar checking. It's also a plugin in the browsers, Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. It's free if you have Office 365. And as I said, it's it, it's it's shown with the double blue line underneath the word or phrase. So here, if I click here, again, it's putting in a comma. And again, which, you know, it's after picking up something here, which it didn't pick up at the beginning. And again, if I scroll down there, it was hot. There we go. So just basic commas and so forth. Um, in relation to the 
durability, the competitive advantage of ginger. The advantage to that, in my opinion, is that it goes through sentence by sentence, so it's a little bit more quicker if you have uh, a large document. And then with Grammarly, it has a bit more granularity. It goes in per word, and it gives um, also options for plagiarism and so forth. Um, so basically, that is a summary of all of the various grammar checking tools. What I usually tend to do is I tend to usually do do them in tandem or in sequence. So I would try the editor first, then I would run through the document with Ginger if you have it, and if you have the fortune of having Grammarly as well, then I would run it through that. So you're it's almost in sequence. It's going through grammar checking in layers. You're never ever going to get grammar checking software, in my opinion, that will find every aspect of grammatical mistakes. And I think I found one already here. Um, but nonetheless, they are excellent tools to reduce down the um, the grammatical and spelling mistakes in your document. That is the end of this video, and thank you for watching.